Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm sorry, it's been uh, it's been a minute since a fish video. Um, as you can see, Diesel has gotten like absolutely massive since the last video. Um, and as you guys can also see, we have a little bit of a problem here. Um, so today is an update video and a just a video on my problem. So, my Oscar is eating my arowana pretty much alive. Um, and, yeah, I'm just trying to show you guys what he's doing. He just kind of does that and then he'll, like, like that. That's the worst I've ever seen. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to move him back over because he's being really bad now. Um... But basically, in my tank, I have this tank divider. So I'm going to move him. I gave him about a quarter of the tank before. And now I'm going to give him about, like, 10% of the tank. Just so he knows, you know, that he's in trouble. If you guys have any tips, please let me know. I've been doing research on the internet. I can't find anything about this. Other than, like, the air wand needs to be, like, at least, like, 8 inches. And, yeah, I don't know. So... What do you guys think? Do I cut the tank in in half with this and, you know, let the arowana get bigger and, you know, keep the Oscar? Um, or do you guys think that, because I know every fish is different, do you guys think this Oscar's aggression level for the food and the roam of the tank is just too territorial and too aggressive and he's just going to keep beating up on the arowana? Because as you guys can see, like, the arowana's fins are all messed up and like look at that he's been nipping them off um and you guys know is that i think 90 percent that's him biting him but also is that like a sign of fin rot guys like his fins is that fin rot or is that just The Oscar biting him. Sorry, sorry, Chadwick. I didn't mean to scare you, buddy. I feel so bad for Chadwick. That's my marijuana because Diesel keeps just harassing him over and over. And then I've had to even. Uh, I know you guys have seen those videos where the arowanas are just hiding in the corner. He's been hiding back there, and I've had to cut off the arowana's tank, you know, just because this little sob. And then that doesn't give. Number one, it scares the arowana, as you can see, he's scared in the corner. And then number two, it cuts off his swimming room. And I think I'm, I don't know what to do with this aeration, guys, because I got the, oh yeah, big updates, by the way. I got the FX6, I'll make a video on that. And then I got a new iPhone, I got the iPhone 15. And my last fish video was on iPhone 8. So if the quality's better, that's why. So I hope you guys enjoyed the new content. And if you guys really love this video, I will keep posting uh, videos. Um, let me know, guys. Just let me know. Do I have to take Diesel back? Um, because I, my, I have my local fish store, and they'll take him back, you know, right away. So I, I was thinking about taking him back, but I figured I'd make this video um, for you guys first to let me know in the comments, guys. Do I want you know, cut off the tank, keep him in timeout, and just try to let him out, like, 10 minutes every day? Do I take them straight back i mean like because i don't know if this fish is ever gonna change he's so hungry all the time and um i've heard like i could put more territories and stuff but i don't really think that's gonna matter because this fish look at him dude he just wants food i just fed him and now he's eating poop because he's like he's not even hungry he's just like desperate for food and as you can see chadwick for the past like three weeks has just been sitting in this corner and i've had the tank blocked off for like a week now probably maybe like a week and a half and i just wanted to see how that would go and i just let him out like not even 10 minutes ago um and as you can see he's kind of not really messing with him too bad right now but i think that's because the arowana is in the corner um and the oscar's like okay i have free roam of the tank and all the food but when the arowana starts swimming, the Oscar's like, oh, I'm going to miss something. He's going to steal some of my food. And then he just goes after him. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to work this phone. Um, and then he just goes after him and, yeah, starts biting him. So, anyways, 
Uh, let me know what I should do, guys. Is that fin rot the arowana has, or is that the Oscar biting him? And I'm pretty sure I know. Yeah, as you can see, he just nipped him again. So that's a good sign. And, and it's bad, guys. Like, it's bad. Like, I don't know why it just randomly started happening one day. And, like, before, he would just kind of, like, follow him around and kind of just... As you can see how jumpy the arowana is, too, like, the, uh, the Oscar's not even getting a good chance to bite him because the arowana just knows it's coming and he's scared. And, as, like, before, they would just kind of swim around together, but now that diesel's getting bigger than him and, like, girth, you know? He's kind of uh, just being a big bully. Um, and you guys know me. I don't want any bullies, and I don't want my fish to be stressed, so... I just want them to live in peace so um but yeah as you can see the fx6 is doing a great job at keeping the water crystal clear so shout out to everybody in the comments that recommended me that i got it for like 300 bucks off ebay brand new so i really really appreciate it boys um another thing let me know what i should do with the aeration i have my fxx inlet right there and my outlet over there and then i have my double aerators i got one sponge i actually ended up taking one sponge back um, just because they weren't really doing anything. So I don't know if I updated you guys on that. And then I just have a rock back here. Um, so let me know, guys. I was thinking, because I know the arowanas want calmer waters, and I like to, um, when I feed the arowana, I want all those bubbles gone. So um, should I just keep, like, one sponge, and it'll be, like, because the pump won't be as big, so there won't be as much bubbles. Because I know, like, right now that's not too much oxygen, but it's not, like, too little you know what i mean but it's, it's a lot so do i keep like just one sponge and kind of put it in the corner that way the arowana has like you know 70 percent of the tank that isn't bubbling all the time uh because i know they like calmer waters or what do you guys think i do with this aeration let me know what you guys do for aeration because with this fx6 obviously there's not going to be any aeration like bubbles on the top of the water because it's just it's not trickling it's you know that outlet is just like a you know, a pond pump so let me know what i should do guys i need help and yeah this is just an update video on how big the fish have gotten since i last recorded like i said i got a new iphone so um but as you can see the water is like crystal clear fx6 is doing an amazing job i uh, did a water change about a week ago as you can see literally the air was i mean still getting picked on so yeah we're gonna have to do something boys and then kenny is also in the driftwood right now as you can see him he's doing well i also got this is my fish bucket it looks like a lot of crap which it is i got a glass scraper i got this gravel vac i think i showed you guys that and i got this new brand new full hole um vacuum and i've been using it over my little junkie vacuum like i've been using this one I set up a custom filtration in it because the other one wasn't catching the really fine stuff. So it's doing amazing at keeping the gravel clean. Like as you guys can see, I haven't vacuumed in like uh, four days, four or five days. And like there is some poop, but like, I mean, it just looks way better than it used to. And honestly, I don't even know the last time i recorded how the tank looked i just this video is just spur of the moment so anyways uh if you guys enjoyed this video uh please like it and subscribe and please let me know why my oscar's doing that and yeah i'm about to cut off the tank so i'm gonna do the tank cut off and set it up and then i'm gonna come back and end the video there just to show you guys what it looks like so yeah be right back Alrighty, boys we are back as you can see Got the tank blocker in and move the Oscar over. And he's going to sulk and pout and cry because I put him in timeout, but he's still too stupid to realize why he's in timeout. So before, you know, it was about like to the sponge filter. Now I just cut him off the like little portion of the tank because I think I'm going to take him back probably tonight or tomorrow. So let me go. Let me let me guys know. <laughs> let me know, guys, what you think. Uh, real quick, uh, just to wrap this video up, I'm going to get a give a huge shout out to my dad for this genius idea of taking an old uh, lid off like a 20 gallon, I think it was, and he we just cut it. It's all plastic too, so nothing's going to, you know, be bad for the water, but he made this for me just for this special occasion, so I really appreciate him, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty sweet. We got a 
you know, free little, you know, I can use this always now too on any tank pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Uh, so let me know what I should do with this tank. Um, also guys, so if I do take this Oscar back, which I plan on doing, um, let me know if there's any good species that would go with this arowana. Now this arowana, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've watched videos of arowanas. I've seen people raise arowanas and stuff like that. This arowana is different. He is super tame, like chill. He's, uh, he's getting a little bit more used to me, but he's pretty skittish of humans. Uh, I have actually touched him. So a lot of arowana owners can't say that they've, you know, touched him freely. Like he was like, I put food in there and put my hand in there. He came up to eat the food and I, you know, petted him. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And obviously I've touched this little junker. He's freaking bit me like more times than I can count. But anyways, uh, yeah, let me know what species of fish or what type of fish I might be able to add. Um, I have, I'm going to have this pleco and an arowana in this tank. Um, and I've, I want something for him to, you know, be able to swim around with and enjoy, um, and not just have to swim around by itself, because that kind of sucks, but I also want to give him a couple of months, at least, to be by himself after the trauma he's went through with this Oscar, um, and then if anything happens to this arowana, I might just get two Oscars and put them in here, and I know they gotta be male and female, um, so they don't kill each other. But yeah, let me let me know guys. What do you guys think uh is the best play for me right now? Take the Oscar back and get um I've heard I don't know, maybe get like some discus that are like, you know, bigger so he can't eat them. Um uh, but then that could be a problem later on when he gets bigger. So, I don't know guys. Do I just keep the arowana by itself? Um cuz I know that they, you know, they can be by themselves. A lot of people keep them with Oscars and stuff, but Obviously, this arowana is not big enough, and this Oscar is too territorial in just a little 125. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. Let me know, and please like this video to show me that you guys want me to start uploading fish videos again, because I've honestly not even, ever since this whole thing started with the Oscar, I've had a lot going on. Like I said, I got a new phone and everything. Uh, yeah, just a lot of stuff. I'm about to start back work, too, so... It's been pretty hectic, I guess you could say, and I've just not really been into fish as much ever since this Oscar has been making Chadwick's life a living nightmare. Um, the tank upstairs is doing good. The tank in the living room is doing good. Uh, my African cyclo tank, everything's doing really good, guys. So, yeah, if you guys want to see updates on those, let me know. But for now, I'm going to see you guys later, and please comment what I should do down below. Peace, boys, and God bless.